So you just started DWC and your seedlings aren't growing and you're wondering what's going on. There's supposed to be this rapid growth. Everything's supposed to be going great, but your seedling has been the same size for a week. Don't worry. I got a solution that most likely is probably the case for you. And I got a couple other solutions that could help as well. Before we get started, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, as well as turn on the post notifications for the channel. And if you'd like to further support, head over onto the Patreon or you can buy some merch at shopdusa.com. You're also going to want to stick around for the entire video because you, yes, you could potentially be winning some free seeds. So like I've said, your seedling isn't growing at all. You're sitting at a standstill and that led you to this video. But what I will tell you first and foremost, this is the most common reason for that being this is the culprit is that your water level is filled up too high. This is the most common one I see as well as I see others go through. And it's that your water level is too high. And yes, in DWC, your plants do need to be submerged in water. They just don't need to be submerged all the way. Some need to be exposed. Some, some bit of the root needs to be exposed to get some oxygen. And say you've got your seedlings right off the bat into the hydrogen, you know, you got that tap root in there, but you got to fill it up too high. It's going to suffocate that tap root. They can't really expand because they're sitting there like, I don't even need this much. Lower it a little bit. Lower it until where the root is barely touching the water. If so, you could also lower it a little bit more until the bubblers are popping and they're touching that bubble when it pops, the water is touching the roots then. And that's just if you don't have any sort of cube. Now, if you're using cubes like, you know, Rapid Rooter or Rockwool, this is where, you know, this is definitely the problem with you. I guarantee you, it's, it's always the problem. I usually tell people, lower your water level, you're going to be good. Because in Rockwool or Rapid Rooter, you know, once you get the, you know, the roots popping out of them, you know, you barely got the roots out of there. You go ahead and throw them in your DWC setup. You you apply that same concept of, you know, barely touching the water on the tap root or, you know, barely at the bottom of the rock well. Well, guess what? As those bubbles burst, those are now, you know, saturating that rock well or cube. And now it's oversaturated. It's way too wet, moist, whatever word you want to use. And now the roots are just, they're being suffocated or they're just too comfortable to outsource anywhere else. They just can't really move and maneuver like they're supposed to. So you don't want it being overly wet. For the cubes, what you want is you can't apply the same principle of barely touching it. What you want to do is actually give that gap. If you got the roots barely sticking out of the cube, just, you know, lower the water level a little bit. Let those bubbles pop to where they're not saturating the actual cube itself. They're barely popping and touching the root. I know it's going to be tricky because you're like, oh no. But what you can also do is you can literally just top feed you can you know feed the actual cube itself keep water in like normal from above and then from there they'll outsource they'll go reach that water and they'll keep growing that way that is the most common reason right there is just your water level so as long as you, you know first and foremost check your water level lower it a little bit and from there i promise you most of you are probably going to see a difference right there your plants are going to grow it could it could take a couple of days you may see like something in three days and uh, if you're if you know if, the, if it's too wet if that rock wool is too wet shake it out don't squinge it out just give it a little shake you know get some of that water off of there and then you're going to be good to go Another reason that the seedling cannot be grown is probably your water temperature. It could be way too high or way too cold. It's just uncomfortable. But if you've got in the 70s or the high 60s, your plant should be fine. It could probably do up to 80, but you know, when you start getting too high, you run into things like root rot. So still try to apply those same principles of keeping it around 68 degrees, 70, no more than 75. I would say me personally, I try to keep mine at 68, but you don't want it too hot or too cold. That can also be a factor of them not growing. Those are most likely your two common culprits right there, especially the first one being the water level, but that's going to be it for the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe until next time, guys. Peace. Hi again. Shout out to the high again fam. And also shout out to you for sticking to this point because now you're about to earn your shot at winning some free seeds. All the people that left, well, that's on them. They're lost. So what I'll do is, boom, everything you see on the screen, these are all the seeds that I will be giving away. So just comment down below which ones you would like to win if you were to win. And then from there, I'll announce it in next week's video, probably in the Wednesday video or sometime next week. It'll be the next, like, big upload. Not the shorts, not the lives. It'll be the actual video itself. So you can pop on there and see if you won. Uh, don't fall for the comment section stuff. Please do not fall for If you fall for that, hey, 